What's up, guys? I'm Bob Tompkins with Living in South Carolina and Real Broker LLC, and welcome back to the channel. On this episode of Living in South Carolina, we're going to be talking about the professional sports teams in Greenville, South Carolina. Let's get right into it. So for those of us who are sports fanatics, whenever we're moving to or living in a new town, one of the most important things is finding that place that has great a great sports atmosphere. And in Greenville, we have three professional sports teams that really do add a lot of life and energy to our town. So coming in at number one, the first professional sports team on the list is the Greenville Triumph. The Greenville Triumph are a USL League One soccer team that was established in 2019 and have been an instant hit in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, one of the lesser known things about Greenville is that it really is a soccer town. I have a few friends that are really in the soccer scene and they make sure people know that per capita, Greenville constantly ranks in the top two or three in the US in viewership of Premier League games every single year. People in Greenville absolutely love soccer. I'm not exactly sure where that comes from because I'm not a big soccer person. I don't really hang out in that soccer crowd, but apparently here we really do love our soccer. And that's why I had to put the Greenville Triumph as first on this list because we here in Greenville love our soccer. Coming in at number two are the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. Now the Greenville Swamp Rabbits, they are a hockey team that play at the Bond Secures Wellness Arena, also known as The Well, in downtown Greenville. The Swamp Rabbits are a staple here in the Greenville community. We used to be the Greenville Road Warriors. Back in the day, before that, there was another name to the hockey team that I do not know. But the um, Swamp Rabbits have been a part of the Greenville community for a very long time. They are an affiliate of the Florida Panthers, the NHL hockey team. And so they feed some of their players up into the NHL system through the Florida Panthers. The Swamp Rabbits really do have an awesome vibe um, with that team. I actually have a friend who's an agent in town that helped the previous coach buy their house here. Um, so the Greenville Swamp Rabbits really ingrained in the community. A lot of people here know the people that work in that organization. And the games are just a lot of fun to go to. Down here in the South, we don't have a huge hockey culture, but there's something about going in and seeing some guys rough up on each other while skating around the ice. It's just a lot of fun. Coming in at number three on the list is my personal favorite, the Greenville Drive. Now the Greenville Drive are a baseball team and a single A affiliate of the Boston Red Sox. Before COVID started, my wife and I were season ticket holders to the Greenville Drive. And I think we plan to start that back up in the 2022 season. The Greenville Drive are a lot of fun because in baseball, people get sent down to the lower divisions to rehab. Um, you get these top prospects that start off at the single A level. So there's a lot of cool players that have made their way through Greenville because they played in the Red Sox organization. Um, you've got Anthony Rizzo is a big one for the New York Yankees who started off at the Greenville Drive. Mookie Betts, who everyone knows, former league MVP out in the Dodgers, started off with the Red Sox and played his way through the Greenville Drive. Personally, before he retired, I was able to see Dustin Pedroia rehab down at the Greenville Drive. And interestingly enough, um, John Lester, who will eventually be a Hall of Famer, actually met his wife in Greenville while rehabbing at the Greenville Drive back when he played for the Red Sox, which is just a super cool story that a lot of people around Greenville love to tell um, because that really does make John Lester not just someone who rehabbed in the Greenville Drive, but it makes him a part of the Greenville community. He comes down every now and again when he has to see his in-laws and um, people have been known to see him around town, which is a really cool thing. So the Greenville Drive, not only do they have great players that come down here to play rehab, work their way up to the majors, but the facilities over at the Greenville Drive are just phenomenal. Um, I mean, it feels like a little big league park. When you go in, it's just so well maintained. Um, they have a special area behind home plate for the season ticket holders to be able to go back. They have a full bar, a lounge area. 
So me and my wife really do love that about the Greenville Drive, and it is a super special thing to take your family out to a ball game on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night in Greenville. So guys, if you're concerned about moving to a smaller town like Greenville, South Carolina, and not having access to the same professional sports that you would in a larger market, you really don't have to worry about that in Greenville. While your favorite teams may be in another city, here you can still go find the thrill of professional sports, whether it's the Greenville Triumph, the Greenville Swamp Rabbits, or the Greenville Drive. So when you're in Greenville, make sure to make your way down to any of those professional sports teams games. Now guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some other stuff on the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on the next episode of Living in South Carolina.